Leslie, what's happening? Hey, what's up? You know why we're here, right? Exactly. Why are we here? Because Dear Dallas Rap. <laughs> Alright, now before we get into that. <laughs> Be on a wave and y'all wanna Y'all wanna fit in. But somebody gonna have to rise up because right now Dallas Rap <laughs> trash. You niggas is trash. And I'm not even playing. And I hope the right niggas see this and say, you know what? Let me go on and make something so Lizzie can shut up. Shut me up. Cause right now all you niggas sound the exact same. Um, are you, you are from Dallas, correct? I am. Okay, Grew what? Up in Dallas. Okay, what area? Pleasant Grove. I okay. like Junior Master Six Five. What's up? Okay, how long have you been uh, living in Dallas? All your life? All my life. Okay. All right, now, for, what exactly do you do? I'm actually an upcoming choreographer. Okay, and how long have you been dancing? I've been dancing since every bit of the sixth grade. I went to Arts Academy in Oak Cliff Griner Middle right. School. All right. Trained in ballet, tell my specialty is hip hop. I love hip hop dance, and that's why I'm so passionate about hip hop, right. the actual rap. Okay, now a few days ago, um, I was actually in Miami, and uh, I got tagged in this video that you made, you know, called Dear Dallas Rappers, and it was like two and a half minutes long when you was really like going in on Dallas artists. And when I posted it, it got like a really, really big response. When you posted it, it got a huge response. That's how I saw it. Um, what made you make that video? Honestly, I've been feeling like that. It's a conversation that everybody have with their friends off camera. So I was like, you know what, let me make a video and see what's up. Yeah. And literally, it took off. Right. Obviously, everybody felt some type of way about it. Some good, some bad. So that's where it came from. Right. So was you like, thought. So were you like just listening to music at that time? And you was like, damn, they trash? Or was like... Yes, I seen a couple of videos on my Facebook. And I was just like, bro, all these niggas really doing the same thing. Like, the only reason why I can tell them apart is because I know some of them personally. But other than that, if I was somebody on the outside, I mean, it's all the same sound to me. The same look, even with the videos. Right. Okay, so in this, that's you seeing these artists on Facebook. Right. Okay, when they're sharing their links with you mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So are you a fan of any Dallas music, or is it just like you don't, you don't really know too much about this, the scene? I don't. So, right. and that's, that could be why I feel the type of way, why I feel how I yeah. feel, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm not out there, I'm not in the mix. But from what I've seen, I'm not a fan. Right. I don't have a top Dallas artist, you right. know. So you just like a, you you hear what's on the radio and right. stuff like that, but you don't go dig for like Dallas no. music. No, okay. and the stuff that I see that Dallas pushes, it's not my cup of tea. Yeah. It's not what I would listen to. Okay. Um. Now, a lot of, in the comments of the video, of that you made in comments of my videos, you know, a, a lot of people were trying to promote their music. A lot of people mm -hmm. were telling, were trying to put you on a new artist. Um, did you, um, did you see some of those comments with some, you know, a lot of people naming certain artists like the Mo Threes and you know what? Boy my cousin Braylon had tagged me in uh, one of Mo Three songs. I'm not sure the name of it, but it was talking about what's going on now. I think it was Hands Up. I think that's the name of the song. Mm -hmm. And it was really dope. And I've been asleep on my three. I will say that this yeah. song right there, it was he was talking about something different, and I really liked it. So right. I might I might go listen to my three. Right. So are there any other artists that you've seen that everybody was naming? Um, I've seen a comments? couple of them. I can't remember off the top because it was so many. When I say everybody was tagging their homeboys and uncles, yeah. I literally seen so many mixtape sound clouds. But it was some pretty dope people out there that probably nobody know. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So. When, when you see the comments, a lot of people are mad because uh, they're like, oh, she's a girl. She don't know nothing about the scene. And then, you know, Dallas is like, you got the hipster niggas and the hood niggas. The hipster niggas, they're like the lyrical conscious ones. They're, they feel a certain type of way because they're like, oh, she's not even going out of her way to even try to look for music. How do you feel about that? I mean... That's their opinion. I'm not, you can feel that type of way. My opinion still gonna be, you niggas is trash. I mean, in my perspective, even the people that's up front, I don't, I don't see a difference in them. Yeah. One might got more money, one might got a different connect, you know what I'm saying? But as far as somebody that I feel like can hold Dallas down and just be an MC, I don't feel like we got that. Yeah. So the hottest artists that, that, that are being promoted in Dallas right now, you don't see, you don't see it. You like you don't see why we're pushing the artists that are hot right now. I don't, okay. and like I said, I don't, I don't, yeah. I don't. Music. When we post trap music, everybody they go crazy. Right. But when we post conscious music, it's kind of like nobody really cares. So it's like, like you're asking for conscious music, but do you really like? Is that what you really want? Yeah. 
Okay. Me personally, I feel like I do. I want to switch it up. I ain't say, don't get me wrong. If I'm on my way to, if I'm on my way to the club, I might bang some trap music. Hey, but if I'm in my house, I'm going through something. I want to be able to flip over to the country's music. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I want to be able to get in my feelings sometimes. I want to be mm -hmm. able to think sometimes. You know, some of that shit is just like I don't got some means. I I don't want to hear that shit all day. Yeah. So ninety percent of the music you say is trap music. Simple. I really feel like it's so simple that I can do it. And it, I'm not a rapper, and the fact that I feel like I can pursue this, it, it shouldn't. I shouldn't feel like that. And I feel like that's why so many people that want to be rappers because they feel like it's easy. Anybody can put a trap song together. If your mixtape is nothing but trap songs, my God, I'm not gonna get past three. By the time I get to the song number three, I'm gonna cut it off. Yeah. So, are there any Dallas artists that you are fans of? Um, I have a couple of Dallas artists that I'm fans of. Um, Most Wanted. Um. Beto, he's out of Pleasant Grove. He's actually from my hood. Um, I like Courtney. He's from Dixon. Um, so you pretty much like people that that are like underground, like that, yeah. that aren't given that chance yet. Mm -hmm. okay. It's a lot of people that's not given that chance that's really dope. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And they on their way, but it's just going to take Dallas to really just see and be like, okay, let's give everybody a chance. Not because he got money yeah. or because the type of car he drive. And don't get me wrong, trap music is for some people. It's working for some people, so I'm not knocking them. You know what works for you. You know what I'm saying? So it's just little on me with my opinion. I'm, I love hip-hop, so you you decided to be a rapper. It's going to be hard criticism. Yeah. So who's to blame, though? Because people in Dallas, people in, in, in the South, period, they want trap music. Mm -hmm. So the artists are going to make what the people want. You know, nowadays you can't go too far left or people are going to not, they're not going to fuck with you. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you have to cater to the consumer. Yeah. So who do you blame? Do you blame the, the chicken or the egg? You know what? I really feel like it go hand in hand because as a rapper, somebody that's passionate about it, they do it because they want to do it. They're gonna, they not going to give a fuck about what people want to hear. They're going to do what they do and then it, that's why I said the people that ride the way they just see what's easier and they go for what people want to hear and it's just like no switch it up if I could blame somebody though personally I feel like it's just Dallas in the hole I mean even at the clubs the DJs they don't play everybody music you try to go can you play this I feel like it should be a, it should be a, a time where they be like okay send in your music let's see if they feeling it and I think they do that on 97 I came on or whatever but I don't know who to blame it's to blame everybody yeah. I don't know yeah. So, I mean, after the situation, I mean, I know you got a lot of mixtapes throwing your way, a lot of mm -hmm. a lot of links, a lot of SoundCloud links, a lot of YouTube links. Have you been digging for new artists or is it just like is it just overwhelming? At first it was overwhelming, but I'm actually in the process of trying to find five artists that done send me their songs and choreograph a dance. Because I really been trying to find an artist from Dallas that I can benefit off of with my dancing. Mm -hmm. Like I done reached out to certain rappers like, hey, let's link up. I got I'm a choreographer, let's let's put your sound with my moves and let's make magic. They don't listen to me because I'm not naked, I'm not on the strip pole, I'm not shaking ass, no offense to no strippers, get your money. But it's just like I don't do that and they can't get out of that hood sense. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's what pisses me off. Yeah. It's it's just it's all in there. I mean, somebody gonna have to step out. Yeah. <laughs> I mean you pissed off a lot of people with that video. I mean a lot of people they were making, you know, saying stuff about, you know, your baby right. and oh she's on section A. Right. <laughs> Her weave. Oh um, how was you like really like re you know reacting to all of that? And did you even know the video was gonna go that crazy? Oh my goodness! I thought maybe a couple of my friends and some family members was gonna hop on there, but once people that don't even know me, don't know me from Tom and Jen, start coming, I was like, you know what? As petty as I am, I'ma just turn my notifications off. I I I said a couple things back, but other than that, I was just like, you don't even know me. First off, so it is what it is. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh Dallas felt a certain type of way because rappers sounding alike isn't just a Dallas thing. It's I not. mean, I've been in Chicago. A lot of the drill rappers sound the same. A lot of Atlanta, a lot of Atlanta rappers sound the same, and LA rappers sound the same. You know, every city has that niche where that commercial sound. So Dallas kind of felt like you were setting the city back mm -hmm. um, by pointing out Dallas and not just rappers in general. Um, how you feel about you know people feeling a certain way about you um, just pointing out Dallas and not rappers in general? I, I targeted Dallas because this is my home, this is where I'm at, and you gotta understand, I'm just Leslie Carter, so of course 
only Dallas people going to see it in my perspective, what I'm thinking, you know what I'm saying? But if I could have targeted everybody, yes, it's hip-hop, period. It's the whole hip-hop. Hip-hop has changed a whole lot. Mm -hmm. And I do blame the front runners. I do. Yeah. Okay. But that don't mean Dallas need to ride their way. Somebody, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, it, I'm still going to say you niggas trash. Even, and let me back up. Because even if I say, okay, because I like trap music. Don't get me wrong. I, I dance to it. I turn up. Mm, dab. I do all that. I, I enjoy it. But e your trap music can be trash too. Yeah. I mean, some of these niggas not jamming like they think they is. And I mean, it is what it is. But lyrical music can be trash as well. Exactly. Oh, my God. And I think that's why they so offensive because everybody can't do it. Everybody cannot do it. it. I mean, you can't. And that's when you're going to have to challenge yourself. I feel like get in there and say something. Turn this video. How are you going to turn this video into a positive? Um, Basically, just going out there finding more music in Dallas. Because I don't want Dallas artists to feel like I'm not going to support them. It's just in order for me to support and you get a coin out of me, I'm going to have to like it. You know what I'm saying? And some people going to still do their thing, as you should. Yeah. Like, but... As far as what I'm trying to get out of this video, maybe more art artists will fuck with me on the level as far as a vision at least. You know, I could bring dancers, I could bring choreography, a dope ass style. Come on, let's work. Dallas really need to link up everybody together. Not, okay, I'm from Pleasant Grove, so I'm just going to push this artist. I'm from mm -hmm. Oak Cliff, I'm going to just push this artist. Why everybody can't come together and let's, let's, let's be the new Atlanta. Like how they say, but we could just be better. And some people need to talk about some real shit. Yeah, man, Dallas has a lot of talent. Like, there's a lot of artists that really was really discouraged by watching a video because they're like, they're working super hard and it's like, damn, like, damn, she's saying this about a city and I've been grinding for so long. So, I mean, there's a lot of artists out there from Jason Lyric to Seven to Grade and it, it, it's so many other, it's so many good artists that I just, you know, I want you to check out, you know what I'm saying? I had a conversation with Seven the Great earlier today. Okay. Because I had reposted a video he made about Black Lives Matter. And he was like, um, thanks for reposting. I seen your video. And I was like, I, I actually don't heard a lot of music from him. Mm -hmm. I done seen Cyphers. He he is dope. He yeah. is dope. There's a lot of artists, man. Yeah. Like, And I could, we'll be sitting up here all night talking about artists. But that's the thing. Like, it's, a, it's kind of a popularity contest, too, because the the most popular artist wins and it sucks it, that it's like that but i mean I it's the it. internet era because everybody's everybody's an artist mm -hmm. so uh i mean i appreciate the interview uh anything coming in the future um a lot of more choreography videos i mean i do have a mixtape coming out it's called you niggas is trash coming soon. so you have a mixtape coming out <laughs> <laughs> yes i might spit a couple bars okay <laughs> That's a joke, but definitely choreography, and I'm willing to work with any Dallas artist. So how do you feel about um, some of the, the the popular artists in the in the city, like the Mo Threes, the Trap Boy Freddies, the Yellow Beezies, the Smurf Franklins, the the Maserati Yays, the um, I can keep going. How do you feel about those guys? Because those are the guys that are being pushed in the forefront. Mm -hmm. With them, I feel like. It works for them, you know what I'm saying? Do I bump their music when I'm driving up the street? No. Like I said, I had I got the chance to listen to Mo3 song, Hands Up, Hands Down, I'm not sure, sorry, I'm not sure the name. And it was actually dope, and I actually want to dance to it. Like, oh my God, I see a whole vision for it. Black hoodies, don't shoot, Skittles. Like, I see a whole, a whole nother level to it. But that's them, but I feel like the people under them feel like they have to do what they doing. Mm. And you don't. You know what I'm saying? They doing their thing and it's working for them. Maybe you need to switch it up. Right. It's just my opinion.